Welcome back adventurers to the continuing adventures of the Warrior Queens of the Mediterranean. Last episode we had an unsuccessful war for southern Cyprus. Cyprus. Um, we lost our husband. He finally died. And uh, yeah, we had to make a white peace with the Byzantines as we had lost half our armies. And yeah, that was... Um, very unsatisfying but it's all part of the game so of course we we gained some uh, stress and all that we're, we're growing older ourselves Isabel is not the youngest anymore we've been playing for 55 years with the same character that's quite something so what is happening well, like I said at the end of last episode, I needed to find a new husband so that I don't have to give up any counties of my personal domain. And uh, that's what we did. We found a wandering nobleman, unlanded, and uh, Zaid Arifid. We invited him to our court, we asked him to convert and marry us. It's a political marriage. We're not going to have any children, so it's like we don't need to share beds and all that stuff. It's... No. Uh, we had a bad omen, yes. Okay. That maybe was like the, the, the war. Lots of blood. Yeah, we lost like 2,000 lives. Half our armies were slaughtered. The battlefields going back and forth between Kipros, Kriti, and then here. This, this area. Southern Anatolia was very sad. So, the other thing we were saying is we need uh, to forge new alliances. And I was looking at this realm, the Kiranagerd or something. Uh, they are Armenian of apostolic faith, not exactly like us. They consider us astray, but they are vaguely related, let's say. And uh, he already likes me. Right? He already likes me. So we decided to befriend him. That is this scheme here. Befriend Pris Smbat. And then hopefully he will um, accept an alliance. Right now he will not accept reluctant and his faith differed from ours we have a difference in military strength so maybe when we bring up our military strength back to full plus the friendship he will be willing to accept an alliance because he is pretty strong with 5,000 soldiers here nine knights some bowman armored footmen that's pretty good right so that's what we're hoping for um, I looked around, but of course, being 67, it's impossible. It's impossible to find a husband or anything who will marry us, and which gives us a strong alliance. It's just no, we're not that lucky. So that's what I was looking for first, because I thought, well, that way maybe we can get an alliance. But of course, being this old, it's like nobody's willing to do that. So here we are, 67 years old, with a fresh husband, political marriage, um, who helps us with stewardship and keeping those seven holdings. So we are like a few weeks ahead, I guess, we gain a little bit of money to get out of debt. So yeah, we need to uh, rebuild our armies, basically, because it's, it's tragic. It's really tragic. What about our knights? A curse on Don. Oh, that is great. We still have some good knights, but we might want to have a look into getting a few strong ones again. Because right now we're going down to 10. A curse on Don. Oh, Tedu. My dear friend, my beloved rival, 
The twist and twist of fate have not always been to my advantage. God knows I was cursed the day I met Count Tato. Today, however, that curse has been lifted. Fate has smiled upon me and brought that evil swain to his grave. Not one day too soon. Yeah, he got sick and died, and we lost some stress. That is great. We have a notable guest. He has a claim on the county of Bresa. Where is that? There. Uh, forget about it. He's an insane adventurer. Hmm. Yeah, Seeking Reinbart also is single now, but he wouldn't marry us. Well, he's a sodomite, an adulterer, but he's bisexual, so he would possibly be interested, but of course we're too old for him. We're no longer fertile, so it's like, yeah. he's gonna go for a younger girl. I'm pretty sure. If we had one, if we had another daughter, we could, like, arrange a marriage there, but we don't. I mean, we have granddaughters. He would accept the granddaughter, even though she is a dwarf. Okay. But that doesn't bring us any alliance. That's the problem. So... So yeah, nah, that's not working for us. Alas. Okay, let's rebuild our armies and get some money and then build some things to make our armies even stronger. And uh, yeah, let's see, we'll take it from there. I have arrived in Panormos to pay homage to you, glorious Despotissa, as a show of my loyalty. I bring you rich gifts, worthy of your majesty, and as a token of my goodwill and servitude. Oh, rich gifts. Count Master of Yabisa. Show him in at once, and he gives 50 gold. I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Count Masiva, who is soon announced and ushered before me. He kneels in deference as attendants bring forth his gifts of coin and precious objects. The oath is taken and scribed for his pledge to serve the despotate of the Mediterranean. I, I can't understand. They still haven't fixed that here. We need an article. At last. Although I guess to serve France. Yeah, so if you have despot or kingdom. But wouldn't it be the kingdom of France or something? Because I always have to say the here, right? Anyway. At last, I bid Count Rise, confirming my satisfaction in Masavo's rights to the lands he rules in my stead. I, I accept your generous gifts, Count Masavo. You gain prestige, and gold, and renown, and grandeur. Wow, it's, it's amazing. Court is now at grandeur level 6. We should have a look at that. We can hold court, then we probably should. My friends, respect and admiration, there we go. Considering my life's deeds, it is only natural that others should respect me. I am convinced Prince Mbad has also accomplished a thing or two which fills him with pride. Perhaps I should commission a small poem comparing our deeds to illustrate that we have both cut from the same cloth. He will be mightily impressed by my feats. Focus on his accomplishments, or I will make sure everyone hears about my greatness. Prestigious image. Okay. The friend needs progress. I think we should focus on his accomplishments. I mean, yes, I'm ambitious and stubborn, but I'm trying to be diplomatic here, right? Yeah. Trying to be diplomatic here. Language, a helping hand. Oh yeah, that's the other, I didn't tell you that, right? The other scheme here is I'm learning the language of my new husband. 
You are learning Arabic, I see. Good choice. Speaking it will surely strengthen your position as the spotter, sir. My friend Bashir explained, quietly considering. I speak Bedouin natively, perhaps. I could be of assistant friend, he says. Would you help me make sense of this sentence? Would you like to join me in lessons from now on? Helpful assistant. Yeah. I mean, isn't he my friend? Yes, he is. So... No more room. Learning Arabic is hard. Really hard. I bet it is. I feel like there's no more room in my head. It's full. As soon as one word enters my mind, another one falls into the abyss of forgetfulness. I struggle with every lesson. I'm making no progress whatsoever. Fortunately, King Petro is always there for me. All the way from Africa. Keep it up, my serene friend. I believe in you, he keeps saying. I really am blessed. I can always lean on Petro for support. Encourage my friend. Nice. And we became best friends. And learned his language. Sudanic. Yeah, we already knew that. Right? Sudanic, Greek, Berber, and Eternal Vulgar. We started out knowing that. That's where we grew up. After we escaped. There's a very little girl. The clutches of uh, slave traders in Northern Africa. Yeah. A gesture of generosity. I should be able to help along my attempt to befriend Prince Mbat by presenting him with a gift. If it brings me close to my goal, it is coin well spent. Now is not the time to be frugal. It is the thought that counts, or I don't want to come on too strong. Cheap gift. Exquisite gift. Um, uh, I don't want to come on too strong. Hold court, call a hunt, hold court. Let's hold court. There we go. Who's that going to cost me, huh? A hundred prestige. Yeah, I miss the other music that immediately started up with the trumpets and so on. Anyway. After several moments, all movement in the chamber has ceased, all faces turned towards mine expectantly. In front of me, I count three petitioners lined up in an orderly row, waiting for me to call on them, just for the first in line to approach. The Bourgogne frontier. Count Stefano stands before you, his face grave with concern. My lady, the threat of Bourgogne weighs heavy on my mind. You are, yeah, you're bordering on Bourgogne. King Reinbart looms across the bordering points, only days from the gates of Rigi and the house and house of Garcianitas hearts. You must help fortify my lands. The soldiers and fortification are all that stand between the Mediterranean and ruin. I think it won't be that bad. You speak true, Rigi really must be fortified. I lose 130 gold. Uh, days we must fortify the capital. Uh, monsters, they are no threat. Or oh, we all are all burdened by the risks of war. Uh, nonsense, I don't think they are a threat. And he is reassured. Very nice. I didn't have to spend money on that. The next petition is evidently somewhat of a stranger in this court, as I do not recognize her, and the eyes of Marshal Isidoros have been on them since they first entered. My lady, I have come to declare that the people of Region are refusing to pay the taxes you have levied upon us. In times past, our land and people were granted rights and privileges with which your recent exactions ignore. We request that you address our concerns fairly or else. So that count that just um, complained to us, he is taxing his people too heavily in our name? So to raise money to fortify this, his castle? Is that what this is about? Imprison this wretch and crush the rebel. You imprison Deuce. Um, experience this crowd control. Uh, trick the ringleaders into an ambush. I'm going to hear you out. Skillfully negotiate with the leaders of the tax revolt. Masterful negotiator. Okay. 
And it sounds to me like you're maybe misinterpreting some charters. Control level will change to plus 20. Tax assessor. Okay, that sounds good. Even what I wonder why do I care? No, I, I, I care because money. Money makes the world go around. So, let's uh, do a stewardship challenge. Tax revolt ebbs away. The control level is changed by plus 20. I gained 100 stewardship lifestyle experience and 130 gold. Well, thank you for bringing this to my attention. And then we have my daughter Arathi. It shows me a page filled with unfamiliar symbols, insisting on its legibility. I have developed a written language specifically for the women of the court, since the letters are mostly taught to men. If you allow it, I will begin teaching the ladies at once. I cannot help but imagine the freedom such a language could grant. What a great idea. Language of women for 20 years. That sounds nice. Simacos will help you teach it. Advanced language of women. Uh, Simacos is a distracted tutor. Okay, we can make better use of your talents and invented code. Scheme secrets. No, no. It's a great idea. Let's do this. Conclusion. Okay, my business here is done. So, that is great. And uh, our Archbishop has finished converting the faith in Neapoli. Let us have a look at the situation. We can call a house, that's nice. So, we still have uh, quite a few Orthodox counties. This one is Coptic. Okay. Um... And these are Mozarabic. Great. So what should we do about that? I mean, they're all other counts, right? Except here. This is my personal domain. Oh, and here they are Catholic. Yeah. Uh, I guess we should start here. Syracuse. And you, culture. Yeah. This is where my daughter is, Rain. And here they are Greek, I suppose. Now they are Antiochia. We want to keep that around, maybe, for the future. Maybe. Um, Sicilians. Let's go and start here. I guess. How's the military doing? They're almost recovered. Uh, halfway there. I arrive back at my castle, my castle, after a long, lonely walk. I can't do long, lonely walks. Unless it's like inside the castle. Another year passed, another year older. Especially seeing that we we are in a feud. They're trying to kill me. For sure. I was born this day 68 years ago. Wow. The older I get, the more I cherish the relationships I've cultivated over the years. So it saddens me I've not heard from my husband, Zaid, or any of my friends today. I trudge along to my chambers. Loneliness impeding my lazy feet when I hear a clang and hushed whispers down the hallway. Who could it be at this hour? Happy birthday! What a surprise! All my nearest and dearest friends have come together to wish me well as I begin this next year of life. Even King Pietro of Akuri, all the way from Africa, came over for a surprise birthday party. Wow, imagine that. There's even an entire table laid in a saffron case. My favorite! Yeah, I was thinking everyone had forgotten about me. I cannot believe that they went through all the trouble of arranging this in secret. I had no clue such a thoughtful surprise was being planned at all. My friend Bashir approaches me, struggling to carry three beautifully wrapped packages. Even the, ever the trickster, he says, I have three gifts here for the choosing. One shall be yours, but which shall it be? Um, the biggest, the medium sized, or the small package? I think this time we'll go for the medium-sized one. How about that? 
And we got a sanctified stained glass shard, which gives us a piety. Wow, that's good. This is dreadful. This is the worst gift ever. Plus there is a, a scheme again at court. Someone's plotting to kill my daughter Arathi, and she's such a good girl. Okay, so I have this this thing, and I don't want it. Right? I don't want it. I should just throw it away. Uh, what I do want is like a crown or regalia. Maybe we can have that made. The secret exposed. The secret truth has reached the light of day. My brother Count Diorinis has had an extra marriage affair with his lover Count de Shonlin of Khania. That is the wife of my son, Pelagios. That is terrible. This crime cannot go unpunished. Guards. Yeah, because if I don't do that... No, nothing happens. Um... Yeah, all right. She goes to the And I made a friend with uh, Prince Asmbat. We bonded after passionately discussing a variety of interesting topics. After laborious preparations, I was finally able to spend an evening alone with Prince Asmbat to discuss new strategies. By the time I left, it felt as though we had known each other a lifetime already. We are closer than ever. And it seems my uh, army is back up. Yeah. Almost, almost fully, but that's great. Um, yeah, sorry, Pelagius. But, uh, yeah, that's terrible news. How could your wife do that to you? A betrothed can marry. Jalidid, Andalusian. And he, why... Why do you come to me for this? Oh, she's my courtier. She is a peasant leader. She's my courtier. And she's betrothed to somebody far away. No, no, don't. And he doesn't look like a good catch. Find your good husband. The map! That idiot belongs in my dungeon! And another scheme at court. Somebody is plotting to kill my grandson, Callistos. Yeah. It's probably because of the feud. Okay, now that you are converted, um, maybe we can find you someone high in. Prowess, matrilineally, prowess, don't be difficult, we have a couple of Sicilians, Kaloyu, um, Humbert, 26, Ojda Zimplinski. He is uh, robust and has some good traits. High prowess. Not ancient. Yeah, let's go for Bojida. Bring him in. There we go. Excellent. Do we have any other... Um, let's go for vanilla. Uh, in my court... Adults... Well, it doesn't matter. Any that are unmarried. We do have quite a few. So Petra, for example... Her husband died. Ah... He flagellated himself to death, you idiot. You 
Idiot. Matrilineally, please. Um, she's 37, so 41 isn't bad. If we can steal him, we will accept. Okay, then go back to this one. Uh, unmarried. Zenovius is very young. Son of one of my Eteria. One of my knights. Um, he's not very good, but we could find him one. That is... Tsvetanka. Tsvetanka. Okay. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Oh yeah, he was one of the peasant leaders. He was suggested to me, actually, as a possible husband. Well, he's good at uh, martial arts, but I needed someone who was good at stewardship, so... No giant in my chambers. But we can find you a woman who can help us. Yeah, that is very nice. My Archbishop is unmarried. Yeah, that kind of makes sense that he's unmarried. Wasima, weren't you married? But she was slain in battle. So sorry, that happens. Okay. I have 46. These ladies look pretty good. Right. This is Craven, though. That's a bit wandering. But you're also strong and athletic. All that goodness. She's Catholic and zealous, so she won't convert. But as long as she fights for us. Right. And... Um, Eva, yeah. Problem is, you're old. That's these seven pounds. That's not good. Okay, we did. We have anybody? Anybody else that we overlooked? No. Just a few old people. Okay. Still, that's good. That's good. Uh, I think we should call that hunt. Yes. Yes. And excellent. Oh, we have more. Wow, new church is established. Count of Syracuse gained religious construction for five years. That is great. The latest work of my friend King Petro has become all the rage at court of late. Peace deals with memory and what the, and what we leave behind, and Petro has publicly dedicated it to me. When heritage takes shape, the mightiest women must leave this earth. Their deeds, their acts, their swollen worth. It is rare enough for women to admit that all they leave behind is shit. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Sorry. So far, I've kept my thoughts to myself, but the buzz has grown too dramatic to ignore for much longer. I don't quite know how I feel about this. I can't say it's heartfelt. It's funny, but heartfelt. The poem is loaded, and we gained opinion of him. Alright. Nice. Okay. Just give me a second. I need to take care of something. And thank you for waiting. That's easy if you can just pause the recording, right? But um, yeah, I had to uh, adjust the AC here because even though it's the first week of October when I'm recording this, it is 36 degrees Celsius today. That is really hot. Even if, like it gets pretty hot here in eastern China, but um, yeah, usually in October it's, it starts cooling down. But we're back up with the heat. All right, let's get back into the game. 
schemer discovered? You mean Hamza of Hamzid? Yes. The daughter of him, Parveen, the daughter of uh, Emir Hamza, is plotting against my daughter Arathi. Of course, of course. And she's wondering, can I invite you? No, he won't come. Can I challenge you to a board game? <coughs> um, can I murder you? Mm. Hmm. That's not really our thing. Right? Uh, a jewel, maybe. Can I have a jewel? I'll challenge it to a duel. Okay. So is it because her husband is in prison? No, he's in prison by the Caliph. It has nothing to do with us. But we're stubborn, so we're not we're not just giving in just like that. I uh, gained twenty opinion of us. Okay. Great, and we finally got our first dynasty legacy. Wags turned a vessel. He's a good boy. Yes, he is. Uh, wait a moment here. Oh no, it's our second dynasty legacy. Glory. We went for marriage acceptance. Yeah, now I remember. Renowned name, number of nice plus one. That, yeah. Earning respect. Assertive rulers. This, yeah, I think we should continue this. Um, yeah, this is not really what we're focusing on. This could be good. Definitely. But a renowned name, monthly prestige plus ten percent, one extra night, and so on. That is what Isabel is about. So let's do this. Uh, call a hunt. Yeah, we are pretty stressed out. So let us call a hunt. Ah, oh, wait. Something I forgot. Our friend here. Would he now accept an alliance? <laughs> Just on the cusp. Wow. Propose an alliance. And we're going on a hunt. Wildflowers. It's a lovely day for a hunt, which means it's a nice day to be outside. As I fill my lungs with the fresh air of the wilderness, I spot in the distance what can only be a gift from or nature's dedication to St. Samuel. So many useful herbs and beautiful flowers, both for healing and malicious intents. But I'm here to hunt. Picking flowers may raise some eyebrows. I must keep up with appearances. Why should I care what others think and I become the owner of a crest of foxglove? That is very nice, Trinket. Uh, hey, what's that over there? And Prince Belias falls for the oldest trick in the book, and I still become the owner of the Crest of Fox Glove. But I also gain some lifestyle experience. Uh, some, yeah, intrigue lifestyle experience. But this is learning lifestyle experience. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm the queen, right? And we formed an alliance with Prince Zimbat. I'm honored by your request. I would be glad to call you an ally as well as a friend. Okay, that is great. Uh, Countess Shonlin is dear to me. Would you let her go in return for this offer? Oh, that's acceptable. That's perfectly acceptable. How about this guy here? No, I mean this guy. His spouse is in prison too. Why is his spouse in prison? He is the adulterer. Oh, they're imprisoned by... Uh... Oh. That I didn't know. Um, can I... Ran oh, here, Ransom. For 50 gold? Goodness gracious. Yeah. When we return from the wild, I gain the trade Novice Hunter. Uh, Novice Hunter. Yeah, why? 
there. Promise. Plus two stress loss plus ten percent. That is very nice. Okay. Can I get his wife out as well? No. Why? Why not? Why can't I get his wife out? That makes no sense. Because he needs to pay for her, is that it? At least I have my count back. Dedicated pilgrim. Okay. Something. A secret exposed, my daughter and heir, Princess Sophia, has accused my vassal Mia Thekla of having had an extramarital affair with her her lover Raimonda. Yeah, Thekla leans that way. How could she defile the sanctity of her marriage? This crime cannot go unpunished. Oh, guards. Raimonda is uh, one of my knights? No, one of her knights. Oh, that's the one she lent to me, right? Okay, guards. Yeah. Drinking companion. I am drinking alone in the tavern when I suddenly see my friend Count Andreas sit down across from me. I quickly make my way over and we spend the rest of the night drinking together. He really knows how to have a good time. Drink up, my friend. And uh, I made a friend over. Good ale, beer, wine and spirits. We had a lot to drink. And Armengol is no longer my Seneschal because he died of old age. Age 73. Yeah. Um, Raimonda. Yeah. Raimonda, Raimonda. Um, 29 days. That's, that's good enough for me. You can go against a weak hook. And Kiriaki, what is your... Crime for ten gold. Yeah, me a thank one. No, I think you need to stay. You need to stay. Amalfi. Amalfi. Yeah, here. Yeah. In fact, I think I'm gonna take your title away from you. Now, a monkey, I need to grant it to someone else, because otherwise, we lose all that. It's the wrong type of holding. Um, Lisa, those, you are uh, one of Zoe's sons, the second son. Yeah. Um, she's one of my knights. And I can't give it to her, can I? Can I? No, I can't grant her titles. It's so frustrating. I like this music, so. Um, yeah, that is frustrating. Okay, grand two. Who are you? Son of God, Mercy. No, that's not a good idea. To an Anglo Saxon. A telemark sounds like it's um, up north. North folk. Okay. That is interesting, but um, yeah, why not? I'm 
Just a Morphe, not the apple. Okay, I could have done a local, but... Uh, we have defensive negotiations. We we'll go for true ruler. Yeah, we want to go for August. If possible. Alright. So, how are we doing? Our armies are back up. I guess we still have a truce. We still have a truce. So maybe we should go for Salem, which we have had an eye on for a while. And they, oh, they do have an eye, but that's still not very strong. So it wouldn't be hard to take this. Let's do it. So learn. And we can raise the troops in Neapoli. And everybody gather in Neapoli. And I will eat this myself. Despite my old age, I'm still good for it. Finally succeeded in learning Arabic. I feel accomplished. I don't need to send him a letter. I can talk to him. Let's keep it quiet. Somebody is plotting to kill my grandson Carlos. I know, it's the Hamzits. Counselor Isidore's died. He was a my a marshal. Yeah, 67 years of age. He died of old age. And he was also master of the horse. So we need a new marshal. Princess Sophia is uh, getting very good at this. Wow, look at her stats. She's amazing. It's just amazing. She's still focusing on theology, though. Learning stuff. That's her number one. But we can't assign her as bishop. Patriarchal Coptic Church would not allow that. So, um, a marshal. That is interesting. Yeah, either that, or we go for like Serapion or Constephanus of Religion. She's just the best. Okay. I don't want you to fight though. I think I have already put that. Here she is at 12. Yeah, forbid her. Fighting. You. That's a bow. How much would it cost to recruit you? 50 gold? What do you think? No. Mm. is on the seat. Yeah. I've started to fall still. He got smallpox. Oh my goodness. He went to Africa and got smallpox. Yeah, his wife has it too. That is terrible. And King Petru, he doesn't have it. Mm -hmm. Well, there goes that. Prisoner taken in siege. That is nice, but somehow we didn't win this. Um, and this embarkation mouse. Wow, he recovered from smallpox. They have some 
mighty good medicine man there. Oh, wait a minute. Wags, run away. I'm out riding my dog. Wags beside me when he suddenly runs off into the farmlands. My retinue assures me he will come back, but if he doesn't, here, Wags, is that here? Wait for me. And gives me, he finds me a couple of gold coins. He's so helpful, that dog. Great. Maybe on this one. Force of demands. Bad armies. Mm, yeah. So we got Salerno, which is also farmlands. So ideally, this is something we would want to keep. Now, one trick we can do here is to put him on managed domain. Look at that. It does mean that. We have um, other things that don't get bonuses, but I'll take it. And who do we have here? Mayor Minia. What are they? Okay. Yeah, of course, now it's zero control. Um, what is... Yeah, what are you doing? You are doing... What? Not valid target due to right click to cancel. We have zero control here. Why can't I assign her to control that? Um, excuse me. This makes no sense. Increase control account. Okay, maybe uh, some time to go by. Beset on threats. Please, Prince Pelagius and Mules. Uh, this insane grudge has got to stop. I'm scared to go anywhere and I jump at the merest mention of a Hamzid. My son is clearly shaken. I'm torn between the risk posed to my family and the need to teach Amir and Nizam a lesson. You're right, it's time this was done with. And he becomes my rival, although now he is my, what is it, nemesis, right? The feud will end. Your house for 25 years. What my house? My house what? I gain stress because I'm brave and ambitious. Yeah, but we must finish what we started. I don't know what we started. Okay. The Zara feud ends. Yeah, if I knew what this was about, apparently some kind of imprisonment, but I don't even remember that. So, there is that. Okay. No more feud, and that should re result in fewer um, schemes against us. What was I wanting to look up now? Ah, I want this to go away. Because there is this stupid... Uh, oh no, we have the pressed foxglove. <laughs> prestige. Well, we don't need a fertility, but prestige is nice. Uh, general opinion plus four. Hmm. Prestige point 14 is more. And uh, control territory defender advantage. Um, I guess it can go here. And this should just get lost. Or something. So, oh, now we can. Okay. Yeah, go to Salerno. That is currently more useful. Of 
recording memory. Some moments must be recorded forever. The time that I commanded and won the battle of Yavis against Johanna is one of them. Such an incredible memory must be preserved for all of time. My mastery of the Greek language would make penning this a trivial matter. Then again, my dear friend Plato is so much better at writing than I am. Surely he would help if I asked. Assembling and illustrating a tome can quickly become a costly endeavor. Plato is a true friend. I will record it myself. Or there's no time for this. A Petro is a true friend. Yeah. Ransom. I'm willing to release our lease. Yes, please. I will pay. I will pay. Do I have any other quarters that are missing? Imprisoned. Is there even a thing for that? No. It doesn't appear that anyone else is in prison. Um, okay. Ward artifacts. Okay. So we have a memory of Johanna. Night effectiveness plus 5%. That is nice. Okay, so over here, I guess. Okay. Um, let us look at commissioning an artifact. It will cost a pretty penny, but it will help us. I think regalia are needed. Hire a local artisan. Kiriyuki gained 40 opinion of us, was funded with 100 gold. Let's see what that will result in. And what else? It's my birthday again. Wait, we're now 70 years old. My goodness. But we're still in good health. Although we had a bad omen. But uh, yeah, our dog helps. So, this bit. I would like to have like a continuous coastline here. But Bungunia is pretty strong. It's allied with Italy and the Byzantines. And to us. Oops, I can't. Oh, he's allied to Sophia. That is interesting. Not to us, though. Well... Well, well. That's a consideration. Anyway, that is for next time. I think we'll uh, end this episode here. Thank you for watching. We have achieved something, right? We've rebuilt our armies. We've got one more county here. With farmlands that we have been eyeing for a while. So let's see how we can continue this story next time. So please check back again. Any continuing adventures of the Warrior Queens of the Mediterranean.